one more example of what you can do with this model. So I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up, and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. All right, going to send it to our Discord. And this is, of course, the rockiest part, making sure that we actually send it to the right channel, which, in fact, I think maybe I did not. Sent it to the wrong channel. It's funny, it's always the... Uh, the sort of non-AI parts of these demos that are the hardest part to do. And here we go. Technology is now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next, right? It played this, uh, this game of sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally, we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mock-up. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. And this is all just potential, right? We, you can see lots of different applications. We ourselves are still figuring out new ways to use this. 